All right, good afternoon, folks. It's LB here with another attack. This is my, I uh, believe, War 6 second attack. And I am looking at their number 14. This is actually a close war. I think we're actually trailing um, 101 to 95 or something like that. Um, but um, we still have some attacks to go, and hopefully we can catch up and, and get, get through these guys. Um, this is a moderate moderately built up uh, uh, Enlightenment Age base uh, from D Dominion X uh, Azura High and um, looks like his walls are sort of on the weak side. I have um, two uh, sabotage, one betrayal, perhaps uh, there'll be a tank or something in the uh, um, in the Alliance troops for them and if I they do I'll grab it with my um, betrayal otherwise uh, if I see an opportunity to grab a group of cavalry perhaps or um, to protect guns so that would be the plan and for the <laughs> use of my tactics um, I'd like to save a sabotage for um, the uh, this group of three defenses here in the event that I do come down the side but basically, I guess what I would like to do is try to go straight in, get the quick victory, and then try to walk it around the outside. Um, the downside to, to that approach, of course, is the Acropolis won't fall anytime soon. And I'll be dealing with extra troops being produced, which I never think is a wonderful thing. Um, but uh, unless I go inside, I, I don't really see a way around that, and I don't. I, I'd li I'd rather stay outside. Um, there's a lot of trash to be cleaned up uh, going around. They don't have Versailles. They have uh, Angkor Wat um, Coliseum and uh, Acropolis. So um, I shouldn't. I won't run into too many slowing uh, slowing issues there, but. Uh, the other alternative would be to maybe come in from one of the flanks and try to maybe, hmm, actually, if I were to come in through Coliseum and I could use the sabotages on the, uh, uh, the mortar and the redoubt and like tower he, uh, behind the um, Coliseum, then I might be able to get the quick victory by going in that way and also quickly kill Acropolis and then go around. I kind of like that idea a little bit better. Um, it will leave the uh, the leader uh, alone. The benefit of coming in from through the Ankle Wat is a quick kill on their leader um, with all my troops, so I know he'd go down fast. Um, but yeah, I, I tend to like that approach a little bit better. Um, it also eliminates me getting sucked into the middle and then getting hit from defenses all along both flanks for my troops in the middle because if that happens, my uh, troops are gonna get eaten up quickly and I really do wanna get this five star, we need it. Um, so hopefully I won't uh, screw that up. Let's just take a look at where we're going with this and um, and there he is, number 14. Yeah, you can see 101 to 95. Also, it's been a little bit of an issue because we're in the middle of an update. And if you update um, before, um, if you update during war, you can't even see what who has stars on them and who doesn't. Everything shows up as zero, zero, zero. But um, luckily, I haven't updated this tablet yet, so um, I can see what we're doing. So, all right, uh, I think we're good to go. Let's take a look. Yeah, I've got. Um, a full army, my usual army. Um, two level 10 generals. This time it's uh, um, Joan of Arc and Cleopatra. Um, Joey provided me with a nice tank, which, which hopefully will help. And two really uh, nasty machine gunners. So a um, little bit light on the heavies. I've got the uh, uh, nine heavies, but that tank really counts to me as like two heavies right there. So. It should be okay. Plus, I've got a lot of uh, a lot of firepower with the three gats and the two machine gunners. Those machine gunners are, are really nice. So hopefully, it's all good. And uh, let's uh, let's go for it.
try to get everybody together so I can get a good uh, good tactics off and then we'll go around the side hopefully if everybody cooperates. I'll hold that one guy back just in case. And we're going to take those three cavalry and add them to our side. Since I had no better real use for the uh, the trail. And you can see that the uh, those gunners did a really good job of getting in there and uh, taking out their hero. So um, everything looks like we're really in pretty good shape at this point. I've still got... Uh, I don't want that mortar um, picking off my infantry well if I can avoid it. So I'll use that last uh, uh, sabotage spell there. They have a tower left, but we have tons of time and we're looking good. Just the beliefs that they go in the uh, uh, castle or fort. This should be a five star. All right, so that's good. So that picks up three more stars, gets us to a really close battle. Um, we believe that we can get more stars than them in the end game and pull this one out. But I have to say, this has been one of our um, closest wars that we've had in a while. And that these guys are good. And, uh, you know, they could very well... Well, let me get my... Uh, let me get my uh, map stars. Um, and they could very well pull, you know, take us here. So, um, we'll see. We still have 14 attacks left to their 11, and uh, it's a three-point game. So, thanks for watching.